Mr. Barry Burbank telling us that uh, there, it's going to be an overcast day, but a nice cool day, similar to what we saw. Starting yes. off with temperatures, Barry, you can go ahead over to your weather wall. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with temperatures just around freezing in some spots, but warming up quickly, and it's going to be a nice day. Yeah, we even had a 34 this morning, Anna Ritz, down on uh, Martha's Vineyards, but they have a perfect conditions there for radiational cooling when there's no wind at all. So they had that <clears throat> early this morning. And now everything is warming up now, but we do have cloudiness is starting to roll in as well. Let's take a look at Fenway Park. Just got the shot up here from our Weatherbug Network camera. Uh, no game today at Fenway Park and none tomorrow, but we want to tell you about the forecast for Fenway this week. It's 59 degrees there right now. So here's your forecast for this week as they take on the Rangers for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night games. It looks like it should be nice and dry on Tuesday, around 67 at first pitch in the evening with uh, some cloudiness around. But Wednesday, the, it may be misty and certainly going to be on the damp side. I don't know how much mist is going to be left over. Right, right now, it looks like the most of the rain is going to be happening Wednesday morning. There'll be a light breeze, and there won't be much wind on Tuesday either, and not much wind on Thursday as well. On Thursday, there could be some showers around in the evening at Fenway Park, about 59 degrees. So that's your forecast for the next three games at Fenway. How about May so far? Well, the last few days, we had all that heat, especially on a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, boosting the mean temperature in the plus column. Yesterday was a trifle below the average for the day. And today, we'll have temperatures about the same as yesterday or just a tad higher. They're in there getting into the low middle 50s now. It's 32 at the summit of Mount Washington. We go to the south. Southwest, and here's where all the warm and humid w weather exists down in here, but that's not coming our way, at least for now. So temperatures about the same, or a couple spots a little bit higher than yesterday, a couple spots a little bit lower than yesterday, because of the fact we have a lot of this mid and high-level cloudiness coming on in. So we got temperatures here across the nation today in the 70s and 80s across much of the country, especially very humid in this sector right in here. This low is moving up into Canada, but the frontal systems will produce the showers, which will be approaching us. No rain today, even though the cloudiness is going to be showing up and is already is showing up in many spots. Most of it is high, mid-level type cloudiness. It was not rain-producing clouds. So so that's what's coming in for today. And we're looking at uh, rain, which will be coming in in the form of probably some showers tomorrow morning, breaking out across the area. Then more uh, pretty good ribbon of rain coming in tomorrow afternoon. That's the way it looks right now. As temperatures go up today to, again, 60s to near 70 or so. And then it looks like mid-50s for tomorrow, and then uh, with some rain around at times. Then breaking out after a damp start Tuesday morning, 75 in the afternoon, partly sunny, but then heavier rain on Wednesday morning, tapering off to mist and a few showers in the afternoon. Then more showers come back on Friday. So it's kind of an unsettled week coming up. There is rain. The rain we get tomorrow will be amounting about a quarter to a half inch of rain. That's it for now. You know